Welcome. In this segment, we'll be discussing the Digital Public Library of America, DPLA for short. Let's take a minute and talk about what's in the DPLA and how it works. So the Digital Public Library of America, the DPLA, is a completely free online library that acts as a portal to digital collections all across the United States. So libraries and museums and historical associations and archives all have these digital digitized collections and they need a way to have them searchable in one place. The Digital Public Library has a portal where you can search all of these collections from one screen. So in the fall of 2013, the Digital Public Library of America already had over 5 million items that could be searchable from one screen. Some of the items that you can find include photographs, books, journal articles, sound and video recordings, and a lot more. Anything that a library or a museum or historical association has digitized, and as long as they've made it available through this portable, it's searchable. So there's several ways that you can explore the DPLA, the Digital Public Library of America. You can do a keyword search. You can use an interactive map of the United States. There's a visual timeline where you can search by date. And they also have online exhibits, just like a regular library would have exhibits in a library, but they have it all completely online. Another really neat feature of the Digital Public Library of America is they have something called the bookshelf. So that's a place where you can go and you can view and browse all of their books, serials, and journal articles that have all been digitized and accessible through this portal. So right now, the bookshelf option has over 1.5 million items just in that section. Let's go ahead and visit the Digital Public Library of America website and let's do a little bit of exploring so you can see what it looks like. So this is the Digital Public Library of America website. So right off the top there you'll see that it has a, um, a snapshot of some of their new additions, some, some screen captures going by a little slideshow, and right below that is the search box. Then over on the other side of the screen, you'll see there's links to their online exhibits. And that, that interactive map I mentioned, it's called Explore by Place. You can see a map, and it will show you state by state. You can click on it and see all the digitized collections for each state. And then there's also the Explore by Date timeline, where you can actually pick a certain year. Let's go ahead and do a keyword search so you can see how this works. So because we're here at SUNY ESF, we're going to do a search for Rachel Carson. And here are the results. Right now, there's 29 items that are coming up for Rachel Carson. So these are items that have, are coming all across the United States from different universities, museums, and libraries. And you can see that. Over on the side, you can see that it's telling you who originally owns the item. And you've got such an interesting array of information here. You've got photographs. You've got sculptures. You even have her death certificate. So anything that's been digitized that's available through this portal, you can search here. If we were maybe looking for text, you can limit by text. Maybe you were just looking for images. There's a link where you can just sort by images. So there's lots of ways that you can refine your search once you do your initial search to make sure your item is in this portal. So let's go ahead and let's look at one of these items. So when you go into one of the items, it'll load up the photograph. And I should mention that each um, institution that's sending items to this portal has their own copyright restrictions, so they should be noted on here. Um, this is kind of neat because it's giving you the date here, and you can also view it on the timeline to see what else was going on in 1962 at that time, and maybe you can get some more information. There's also hot links to other subjects, and again, it's telling you where the item's coming from and giving you the direct link. So these are items that are either on other websites or they're just digitized on websites of museums and libraries and archives. And the Digital Public Library is acting as this one-stop shopping portal. Eventually, SUNY ESF will have items available on this portal. And if you do searches for anything related to Onondaga County or Syracuse or the Adirondacks, you will find other items here. There's another neat thing that I'd like to point out, um, and there's a way that you can log in here. You can create an account for the Digital Public Library of America, and you can actually have it save your searches and keep track of all of the research that you're doing. So it is just like a real library. 
let's talk about the Digital Public Library a little bit more here. So to summarize, the Digital Public Library of America is a completely free online library. Again, it acts as a portal. And this is the website. It's just dp.la, Digital Public Library of America. Remember that you can create an account to save your searches and create list of results. So the first thing you want to do is get in there and visit the website and start exploring and see if there's some information there that relates to your research or just personal interests. That's all for now. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.